Hi, hello, welcome back to Monster Train. It's me, Cranberry. Hi, hello. Sorry for no upload yesterday, you know. I mentioned it a couple days ago, but I should be mentioning it mentioning it uh, more often. Uh, with school starting up and with me also working, uh, uploads might be a little less consistent than they've been in the past. But, uh, you know, I'll, I'll do what I can. Apologies. But, uh, you know, hopefully it's not too big of a deal. What do we got going on today here? Uh, we had the most scuffed run in the history of Monster Train uh, last run. But so I'm hoping for something a bit smoother, a bit more normal. Maybe like Little Fade. Uh, okay, we can take this. We can take Awoken Hellhorn with Welding Helper right off the bat. That's pretty That's pretty good. Not amazing, but pretty good. Uh, starting spell Sting is okay. Welder Helper pretty solid. Pyre Shards, eh. But we'll see. We can do. We can do big armor potentially here, just because of how strong this start is. We could do. I mean, probably not going to do any sort of healing strat, even though we have the restores. We'll see. I mean, we could. We could play like you know, Awoken Hollow, Multi Strike Welder Helper, maybe. That might. That could be fun. Okay, now now we're playing imps, I guess. You're gonna give me the imsicle? Like, come on. How am I supposed to contain myself here? Man, it would have been pretty cool if we got in spikes. If we got bristling cultivate or bristling uh, sentient here, give it a bunch of armor. Could have been neat. I guess we'll try to play cultivating sentient here and, and torching it in some classy, classy self in, uh, inflicted damage here to cultivate. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, Awoken banner, merchant of steel, or we can just torch our own imps, I suppose. Too. We'll, we'll see what happens. We're gonna we're gonna cool it on the divine boon here. Oh, but it probably and I, I I lied actually. I changed my mind. We're not cooling it on the divine boon. It's, it's golden them their hills. I think this is pretty doable. Torches and you know whatever else we got in here should make this. Oh, we should make that more than fine. There you go. Yo, this game's easy. <laughs> Have you ever just seen a easier draw than that? <laughs> okay. My man here is jacked as hell. Look at him. He's got 80 health and four spikes. And that's all he's gonna need. <laughs> what do you want from me, man? How am I not how am I not gonna take that? How am I not taking that? I ask you, sir. That's just free. Okay, let's let's do like this behind here, maybe. Something like that. Yeah, there you go. A lot of, a lot of molting imps here, huh? Wonder what the deal is. Very interesting. Anyway. Oh, give me the Razor Sharp here. Out of all these, give me the Razor Sharp. A, we can use it to kill our Welder Helpers. B, we can use it to scale damage. I'm loving this right here. Third, Welder Helper is probably too much, so we'll take the Tiresome Climb here. Everyone knows Tiresome Climb is a good choice. Uh, hmm. Animus of speed seems bad to me here. I think with cultivating sentient, we want it to get hit. Not kill enemies before Animus gets hit. Could try to go Brandon Warrior. You know what I'm thinking here? I know what I'm thinking here. We're taking Brandon Warrior. We're going to we're going to go left and we're going to find preferably Shattered Shell, but whatever we find we'll work with. Uh and then infuse the Brandon Warrior onto it. That's that's the plan. I think it'll work here. Um, yeah. Let's look here. Quick. Mm, again, not really into quick. On this run. Really. In general. Not feeling it. Okay, we'll accept Husk Hermit. A Husk Hermit is satisfactory. Um, this is going to be a lot of shards really early. But I think this will be acceptable. Acceptable. 
put that right in there. Seek Stone, the Razor Sharp Edge as well. It's a champion pick. There's nothing I want a value stone, right? Oh man, Tyrosome Plan would be sick, but it's way too many shards too quickly. We'll just end up dying. I'm pretty confident in saying that. That'll just be our death here. So we'll roll this, looking for none, none of these. Multi or Endless would have been cool. We instead got Large Stone. The worst of the three options available. Endless would have been nice on like a, an Imp. Yeah, that's just, that's just stinky. No biggie though. Oh, easy combat. Um, There's a minor issue with uh, maybe some leakage here, potentially, depending on how things shake out. Oh, we, oh, we got the fledgling imp, so we're okay. Um, put this here. Should be okay. Oh, come on. Of course it had to be you going up. Coward. Mm. I want you as the thing here. And if we play the Welder Helper, the Sentient will uh, give the, the Restores to Welder Helper. But Welder Helper gets the Rage from Oscar Hermit 2, so that's pretty tight. Sure. Let's do it like that. Seems okay to me. Okay, this is a little too much coming in too hot here. Let's cool our jets maybe a bit. Okay, cool. Put this up here. You're doing great. Stall for a bit of time. I'll put these here together. I mean, we're winning this, so you know. All's good in the neighborhood here. Get a little extra score for moving them up there. I mean, second Razor Sharp is probably a little overkill. I'm thinking we're taking the Focus Growth here. Focus Growth seems pretty solid. And... Uh, take a Horn Break here for killing Imps. May end up being useful, who knows. Right side, no. We're, go we're going left side here for those upgrades. We need, need Multi-Strike. We don't need Large Stone. Please don't get me quick again, man. Okay, we'll take Endless. Endless will be fine here. We may end up self-infusing this imp at some point, but we don't even have the option to do it here, and we're not going to do it anytime soon. Oh, that's a Welder Helper. Or not a Welder Helper, that's a Apex Imp is what I mean to say. That's pretty tight. Okay, well, um... Yeah, you gotta take that. Um, you you know you got the you got the the held over Welder Helper. You gotta take the Apex Imp. It's been a while since I've seen him. A little late into the run to see it, but you know, that's great. So now we actually do want quick on the Hoskarmet. Hoskarmet has gone from carry status to tank status. Um, and then Apex Imp is gonna get uh, just tons of armor. And then we're gonna play self-infused welder helper here to support both the welder help or for the, to support both the house Kermit and the apex imp. And you know what? It might actually be it might just be apex imp as the tank too. For the record, it might be apex imp as tank and heavy killer, and then house Kermit as backline killer. There's a lot of this is strong. We're also should mention sentient is gonna be basically bottom floor uh, for the rest of the game. <laughs> um, unfortunate, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Better luck next time, uh, you know, RIP. What the fuck is this? Okay, um... Ooh, it's tough. It's tough. It is tough. I have a couple of ideas. 
a couple of ideas here. You can just take Wingmaker, but I don't think we need it because we have, we have, you know, the Husk Hermit. So my thought is we take the size downgrade. Now, who do you size downgrade? Probably, probably the Husk Hermit. You probably make Husk Hermit a one size unit here. Which means that we'll have to choose between uh, a quick or an HP upgrade on Husk Hermit if that's the plan, which I don't like. And the more and more I think about this, I think I'm actually just taking Wingmaker. Because I, I don't like... Uh, I don't like uh I, I we gotta go we gotta go quick and plus 25 hp for this husk hermit to be even functional i'm pretty sure it'll have too low of a base hp it'll just get you know killed by sweep before we can even play our welder helper it's not good i don't want to make i don't think apex in one one size is not worth the uh the slot it takes up on the unit itself so yeah just give me Wingmaker is good for now, especially. Like, you know, just put slot plus 10 on it. It may end up being just better than Husk Hermit. Right? We could actually even, you know, if we if we Wingmaker, if we get like a Extreme Stone or True Stone and hold over, we can just say, forget you, Husk Hermit. We're playing Apex Imp and just giving it a bunch of armor. That's like a perfectly viable line here. And I think we need to be proactive with, with thinning our deck out too if we're going to rely heavily on these Welder Helpers to generate... Uh, armor for us so yeah let's start doing that okay Brandon warrior goes here I guess we play the fledgling him doesn't really matter Okay. This is all good. Kill you. Put that here for now. It's just play Wingmaker here. Seems fine enough as is. Getting for a big chunk of change there. I mean, it's very annoying how Ember Drain is messing us up so badly here, but like, you know, what are you going to do, right? Put this here. It's a lot of damage coming our way here, I should mention. Thank you, Wingmaker. Appreciate it. We're going to play Transcend him first because it has a, a Pyre Chomper behind it. Just get this over with real quick. This here. Okay. Hooray, we, we won. Apex Imp. <laughs> Hooray. It is good. Don't get me wrong. Okay, well, you know. When the going gets tough, the imps get going? Is that a thing? I don't know. You you know, you, you, you have a Horned Warrior here as an infusion option for Apex Imp, but if we don't draw a Welder Helper, it's looking pretty dubious there. So I don't and I don't think we need it. We really only need, I feel like, one multi-strike for this to work. Um I think you just saw there our biggest issue is energy when we had that weird sorta 
torch into welder helper loop thingy going on. It was like we didn't have enough energy to play more cards, I guess. So I'll take the energy first. I don't think we need a uh, size because the Wingmaker is doing great work for us. So yeah. I did say before we needed to remove cards aggressively here, and I think that's still true. We have some strong holdover targets, but nothing amazing anymore at this point, because our, our whole run has sort of shifted into being really unit focused now. I, th I think we go left and we remove. There you go. There you go. I think Golden Vault's cool here. I am worried about the money we'll lose for taking it. But Channel Heart does nothing, basically. I mean, we have two stings, don't get me wrong, but it does, as far as I'm concerned, nothing for us. Check out the temple. What do we got going on in here? Another value stone. Mm. Yeah, then we do that. You know what we could do as well here, which would be pretty interesting? We could self-infuse uh, Welder Helper into the Apex Imp, so that way it has some initial armor. Self-infusing is pretty cool, though, too. I just realized now that because of the path we took, the Apex Imp will just have no infusions. It, just, it doesn't need one, for the record. It's fine. Yeah, I think we're okay. Uh, I don't want to kill backline. I want the I want the Hoskermit to kill backline. So let's do it like this. Hmm. No, no giving armor to people here. We're a little fragile right now. Put you behind. We don't want you getting armor from the next uh, Welder Helper that shows up. Yeah, well. I'm just thinking here. If we play the Husk Hermit in front, it means that Apex Imp gets no more armor, but Husk Hermit is going to get this whole floor a ton of rage. We could also just Wingmaker here. I think I like this for now. It's gonna, it's gonna scale up the Apex Imp too, as it murders things. And he sneaks on by with like nothing. Move you on up. Hang you down a bit. Top you off here if we can. Man, this deck needs important work. Something fierce. I'll tell you what. Hmm. This is going to be a problem. Let's, let's get rid of you. Okay. Move you up. Did I Pyre Chomper this game? I did, okay. Oh, that it really matters, but we'll do that. Okay, this worked out well enough. And you can come to the top floor. We don't need to stall. We're, we're ready to go here. The Apex Imp has enough damage here to win this, so yeah. Closer than I thought it would be, actually, but we're, we're good. Okay.
Uh, these are all bad. Okay, you know it's a way to kill him. It's not it's not important work, but it's a way to kill him. So I'll take this. Um. This seems bad compared to this, because we're not really a rage build. We're just, you know, using rage to scale damage. So flat 10 seems better to me. Although in this deck, you're probably better off just taking this if we needed it. At the end of the day, though, we're just skipping this relic. We're, we're, we're in a pretty okay spot here, I feel like. We've got another Merchant of Steel coming up on the right side here. I think we're okay to skip. We were taking one of those. I think we were taking Forever Flame, though. Okay. Let's let's see. I mean, there's only one bad thing here, and it's large stone. So just no large stone would be great. Okay, there we go. There's a quick. Slap that here. Slap a plus 25 on. That's pretty good. Roll. Honestly, maybe the best things we could have gotten in those shops. Like, that's, that's solid right there. And, I, and you know, I'm tempted to do plus 25 right off the bat here. Mm. I don't know. It's a weird one. If we make this intrinsic, I feel like we can just go double multi-strike. And you know what? Let, let's hang tight on it because we're still going to be looking for... Uh, we're still going to be looking for... Endless for the Transcendent Pierce. So I'm not super keen on like... Filling up all of our upgrade slots right now. As another multi strike would also be very usable on it. So let's hang for a sec. What would be sick here would be Sapstone. Sapstone would be like a killer card here. I'll take build a card though. I mean, you know, armor. Skip this and then card draw. Great, great spell. And uh, let's move on. We're good. We're, we don't need money. I think Mark here is fairly free. If it's if we don't draw the uh, Hoss Kermit here, it's not the end of the world. But if we do, it's sweet. We don't, again, not the end of the world. Oh, easy, actually. Um, did we put it down here? No, we put it, we, we, we put it up here. I think you might... Maybe this is crazy of me. I think you do this. Then you just kill it. That was also a bad sting of me to do. We didn't need that sting. You fucking rat bastard. Okay. This is unbelievably greedy. Had to be done. I'm sorry to say. Oh, Apex is supposed to be in front. God damn it. I guess it doesn't really matter, but still it's annoying that I forgot. Whatever. Okay, welder into impressive into what? Just move you up here? Into, I don't know, you guys don't even matter, really. To draw more cards. That seems fine, honestly. Kill the imps. Armor you up. Note to self, Huskermit goes behind the Apex Imp now. Gotta remember that. Very important. Um, let's just focus you down because you might live or something. Like in theory.
Let's start stalling out your stealth. Knew he'd live. God damn it. Hold on. There we go. Cool. Um. They're all dead. Okay, put that here. We've got this handled, by the way. Don't worry. If you were for some weird reason worried, do not be. Please stop. I'm saying that. And bingo bango. Okay, brain. Stop fucking up the uh, the ordering here. Apex Imp is in front. And as I guess technically the tank. Preserve Thorn so we can draw through faster. Pyre Chomper, unbelievably easy pick here. Although Battering Ram, cool. Pyre Chomper turns on uh, Transcendent once we make it endless. So, honestly, it's a really easy pick. Come on, on in here. Hate the large stone. Not good. All we need is just not quick, though. Not quick and we're sick. Okay. Very happy to see this. Um, What are we doing now? I think we're doing the self-infuse uh, welder helper now. I think it's finally time. And I think the intrinsic in here is going to go onto that... Uh, What's it called? Tiresome Climb. Oh, you could put it on the Transcendent, actually. That makes more sense. Does it? I mean, they both make sense, I guess. But if we're only able to play one Imp, I'd rather play this one, I guess, so. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll do it this way. Seek Stone goes on the Tiresome Climb for the Divinity Fight. And, uh, yeah, we're set. Could use another multi on the Apex Imp, but, you know, not not necessary. And he's got to thin, thin the deck out now. Remove uh, Restores and, and uh, Train Stewards, and we're good to go. Remember, he goes in front. Molting him is just not good. I guess we'll daze you. Whatever. Put this down here. I could go for a quick on the Apex 2, honestly, at this point as well. I would accept a quick. Now I think about it, yeah, quick would be sick in addition. A-OK -okay with that choice. Here we go. Fuck you, Arcus. Just real quick. Just want to get that out of the way. Scumbag. this here, put this here, play that just for fun I guess, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I mean, we're still okay. Would love the ability to kill this with uh, Im Im Impressive. There we go, thank you. down here as well. Guess you're the tank, bud. Here you go. I'm not gonna just encamp myself for no reason. No thank you, I'm good.
Okay. I'll put this here. Thank you, Hornbreak. Are you killing you with quick? No, you're not. Okay, cool. Put that down to take the hit. I mean, we're going to win this. I'm pretty sure. I've, I've extremely confidently say here. More or less, no doubt in my mind. It's just... Uh, we need to hold over this impressive, I think. I've just realized. Because the, the Transcendent gives itself too much armor. Not a huge deal, but you know. A little, little tedious, I would say. Um. Put these down here. Cool. Or you, or you know, you know, Arcus, if you want, I would, I would settle for you giving me. Uh, Important work being called a day. That I, I can I can settle with. I would say. Mm. Let's move you up so he gets a sweep kill up here. Not that not that that matters. I have some armor. Okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. Apex Imp is pogged up here. But to what end? I ask you. Eh, mm. yeah, whatever. They actually get quite a bit of damage in before uh, Arcus gets through. That's pretty wild. And then you just play Tiresome Climb. What the heck? There. Let's just do that. There you go, bud. I'm sorry. Okay. I mean, you're gonna, if you're going to twist my arm, I guess I'll take another Transcendent. Whatever. Um, I'm thinking here we take space. Just so we have room for more imps, really, is the thing. Is this Hef? Hef? Oh, you're not even Hef. What the hell, man? Who are you? Uh, I mean, this is good, but we don't need it. Take the money. Thank you, goodbye. Is this Hef? Hello, Hef. Uh, get the fuck out of here. Not allowed. We could infuse it onto the Apex Imp, but Apex Imp don't need it, is the thing. So, yeah. Um, a lot you could do here. You could just dupe many, many cards here. You could dupe Transcend Imp. But I think I'd rather just go left and go to the Magic Shop. Oh, we, right has removals, though. Actually, never mind. We're going to go right, and we're going to do some removals. I lied. I lied. I'm sorry. We should have made a Apex Imp one, -sided, one size before and duped it here. Would have been way better. Um, do that, and we get rid of a restore. Okay, Pyre remains, I guess, whatever. Uh, what do you dupe? What do you dupe? I mean, the right choice is probably the Transcendent, right? Like, it's just pretty nuts. Although, you know what? Maybe, maybe a bold decision. I'm gonna dupe the Impressive. I feel like we need to make sure we have, uh, enough outlets to kill our Imps. Especially because they're gonna have so much armor from each other. Whatever, give you cultivating three, I don't care. Um I can see some of these heavies living. No need for Heaven Seal here. Although I guess we have Golden Vault, so as long as not many live we'll net profit, but eh, it's, it's dubious. Okay, we're gonna do this. 
I think I'm playing bottom floor with the Hoskermit at the very least to try to kill uh, backliners here. Yeah, I'll be I'll be frank. I forgot about uh, the whole thing about how like this guy was still gonna be here. So never mind. That plan a little bit bad. I'll say it. Jump with imps down here for now. Endless. Gets us pretty close to being able to kill purifiers. Mm. That's going to be rough. Just looking, I'm just looking. You just play it. Mitigate as much damage as you can. We have an Ember Chomper, right? We do Pyre Chomper, whatever your name is. Cool. Okay. Very convenient timing, I gotta say. Finally, a backliner that the Hoskarmit can kill. That's nice to see. Okay. I mean, Hoskarm, you did, you did well enough, I'll say. Could have been better, could have been worse. This is a chump blocker for later. Oh, we didn't even need a chump blocker, man. Bingo. Bingo. Okay, I mean, Apex and Pass is handled. No need for alarm on this one, even though we're ramping this man up quite a bit. Come on up, bud. Welcome to... Please, please step into my office. Cool. Um... Take a solution. I will take an Impolite here. Impressive, don't get me wrong. Uh, very good. Impolite's gonna murder things, though, is the thing. We're adding an Imp every turn. Mm, actually, you know what? Never mind. Impressive. Thought about it, changed my mind. Would rather have this, I think. Uh, definitely would rather go right side here. Uh, would love... Uh, finding our last upgrade slot for Apex Imp here, whether it's quick or multi, both work. I would say multi's probably better here. Well, they're both good. Okay, you know what? There you go. You come in here, you remove some restores. We need five more shards in the temple, so whatever's on the left side here, Purge Stone, do not mind if I do. Goodbye, restore. And Trinket Shop? What do you got? We don't really need it, but Resonant Shard is funny. It's just more damage, so that's pretty tight. Um, yeah, let's go. 
Sarah of the Temper, a little lame. But I think we'll be okay. I want to separate this floor. I don't know how exactly yet. Oh, hold on. Okay. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. We could play Fledgling Imp first and then Razor Sharpen to dodge the, uh... To dodge the Ember Drain, but I care more about just getting the actual stats on Huskermit here. So it can actually maybe, I don't know, hurt something. And by that same logic, let's push you up so you get killed sooner. And, uh... Put you down here as well. There you go. Still Ember Drained, but, uh... This next turn is looking pretty strong. Especially because the Husker Armin has just enough damage to kill all the backliners here. So yeah, we're good. Fire Chomper is a nice hit as well. Because that enables Transcendent to do some messed up stuff. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We've stripped the, the damage shields off of uh, Seraph. Hmm. Let's do this. Get rid of you. It's a rather invigorating solution. We don't need this, the, the thorns in our in our deck here. They're just to accelerate so we can find our uh, important draws early. This down here, I guess. Okay, focus growth for some more card draw. Yeah, this is uh, this is pretty game over, I'd say. Yeah, we're doing. Yeah, this is this is looking like an early kill. Actually, although maybe not, we'll see. This is down here. Get torched, nerd. Um. Oh yeah, this is an early kill. Cause we're gonna move you up here so you can uh, get God as well. Nice try. Not gonna work. L plus ratio plus your Seraph. There you go. Okay, goodbye. What do I have consumed? Oh, the invigorating solution. Yep, yep, yep. I think even if we didn't ascend that guy, we had the kill there, right? Because he, he just, he just, you know, did 1,500 damage in a single hit there. Cool, cool, cool. You know, I asked the game for a nice and easy run and it obliged, and I do appreciate that monster train. I needed this one. This is not the best time to get an Endless Transcendent, but, like, whatever. Sometimes that's just how it is. Um, I'm okay to take the Ember Drain here to get the armor. That's fine. Okay.
Sorry, getting getting text messages. Um, let's just pass the turn there. The yeah, Husker I'm getting a little frisky there, which is good to see. I guess we'll soften you up so that way, you know. Oscar Hermit definitely gets the kill there. I guess purge this spell shield, maybe that, that'll be relevant, I don't know. Yo, the, the self-cultivating there, you know. I wonder how realistic it is to have, like, your cultivating sentient, like, be the carry somehow. That seems interesting to me. I want to I want to do that someday. New idea for the future. Um This in kill you. Ah, oh, damn it! Will Wings is dying. Sentient's too strong. What the hell happened? Oh well, whatever. Not that it really matters, we're still, you know... Hot. He's already killing three heavies. Like, that's the magic number for your heavy killer. Your heavy killer can just kill three heavies, the game ends, basically. Which is where we're at now, which is, you know, nice. Um... go we're drawing all the cards next turn sick Yeah, we're pretty much at the play nothing win part of the game. Let's kill our imps. Um, it would be cool if we could kill you somehow, but so you don't ember drain us. But I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. We might actually win the game before that. Now that I'm looking at it here. It'll be close, but not quite, I don't think. This depends on how well these imps pop. Um, why do you have six? I played you behind the fucker. God damn it. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, we win. Okay, sick. Uh, hey, thanks for watching this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, busted, busted man over here. The very, just a very busted man. You know, you know what it is, and it's very obvious when I think about it. The thing that makes Apex Imp so strong is that uh, he solves two problems at once, right? Like you want a, you know, armor gives him attack. Right, giving him more defense gives him more offense. You know, other cards do this do similar effects, like you know, rejuvenate triggers, healing them. A defensive thing gives them more offense, but no one does it at nearly the rate that Apex Imp does it. So you know, armor is just very abusable. Um, yeah, the end. Duh. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and hopefully I'll see you next time. After you play. Maple Angelus boxes. That's the second time I've had Angelus as like uh, a word in here. Every time I see it, I it trips me up a bit because I think of like the city of Los Angeles, and I guess I just realized like not for the first time ever, but like Angelus isn't it just like angel in Spanish? Or am I dumb? I might be dumb. Goodbye.